Hello, it's Melody. Welcome to a Saner Spin episode 24 this week. Um, this week, it's been a while since I've been here, but I'm back. I actually didn't go anywhere. I just wasn't doing this that much. Uh, but I'm back to a Saner Spin, so welcome. And this week, I want to respond to a question that I got at a talk I gave a few days ago at the University of North Carolina Greensboro, where they are super smart and they do their mental health month in September, which every university and college should do, because in May, students are leaving. Um, and it's important to get it out at the beginning of the year, I think, since suicide is the second leading cause of death among college students, it would make sense to do it as early as possible. Um, so anyway, I had a great time and I had a lot of wonderful questions after the talk, one of which was about my day-to-day -day wellness plan. I tend not to like to answer really like personally to that, not because I care, but I just, I don't know how helpful my personal plan will be, but... Uh, I think everyone has their own uh, routine that helps keep them well, and it's important to have such a thing. It shouldn't be the same for everyone. It wouldn't make sense. Uh, but there are certain things that I think are super helpful for most people, and I thought I would talk to some of those, um, or about some of those, this time, this episode. So one of those is sleep. I mean, if you have bipolar in particular, but any mental illness or not a mental illness, sleep is really important. Uh, I tend, I like to keep track of it. I like to document um, a lot of different things, including things I'm grateful for. And every morning I have like an Excel file that has all these different things in it um, from like if I'm in pain or what medication I took, usually not like regular medication, but PRN as needed medication. Um, if I took a sleeping pill, for example, then I would want to document that and see how that affected anything. Um, and of course, keeping track of my mood. Um, yeah, so just a lot of things I like to keep track of, but sleep is really important, and I try and wake up at the same time every day, and I do not wake up to an alarm or my phone. Uh, I wake up to light. I wake up to an alarm clock that simulates the sunrise that you can get on the interwebs. There's a bunch of different ones. They can be expensive, but I, I really like mine. Um, and you can also actually set up lights to with timers. It's much less expensive, but I don't know how to do it. In any case, if you're smart that way, you can do it. Uh, and I really prefer waking up that way. A huge part of my wellness plan is prayer. Uh, you can call it meditation, whatever you want to call it. However, you know, just handing my day over to a power, a source greater than me uh, is very helpful. Uh, or I've found it very helpful. Uh, also movement, I don't exercise, I'm not very good at it. I just, in terms of keeping up, uh, but I do yoga, I try and do yoga every morning, not, I mean, 10 minutes to 30 minutes at most in the mornings. Uh, and I try and do, so my prayer is usually a Muslim prayer, so I try and do meditation as well after yoga. And then get my morning started and as somebody who works from home and somebody who's a writer, I like to create a very safe, sacred space for my creative time. Um, and for me, that's like four hours. My brain sort of stops working after that. Uh, in most cases, sometimes it lasts longer, but uh, in terms of just being able to focus and flow like that, uh, usually about four hours is my limit. Uh, then I start like forgetting how to spell the, you know, like it's just really, mm, I'm just doing the same thing for too long, which, you know, exercise really helps at that point. Um, and so do naps. I tend to prefer naps over exercise. Um, but you got to be careful with naps as well. If you have uh, bipolar in particular, you got to be careful. They, they just don't get too long, but they can really replenish you. Uh, so those are some of my wellness tips. If you have your own, which I hope you do, uh, share in the comments below. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Uh, until then, take care. Bye.